What's up? We are Gemini Syndrome, and you're watching Antihero Online. All right, so first thing, let's talk about the tour. How's the tour been going, guys? Fabulous. Almost over. Last night, um, Fozzie Camp's been awesome to us. The crowd's been great. Can't complain. You guys have been hitting a lot of like smaller venues, a little bit more intimate with the fans. How has the crowd reaction been with the smaller shows? They, they yell louder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they make their presence known, <laughs> for sure. Uh, I mean, it's probably just as intense as I would say a festival is, with just less people. No, I know this place, it smells like innocence lost. Traces of the sins we bought, but I wouldn't change a thing. It's just a waking dream. You got a new member in the room. How's everything been going with him taking over the guitar duties? Uh, it's going great. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm finally started getting into the groove with the bands, and uh, I, I'm having a great time. Uh, known these guys for 20 years, it seems. Maybe not 20. 20 oh, yeah. oh, 50. 50. 50. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I've, I've seen the career of the the band from the beginning. So now it's come full circle and. Happy to be here. Very, very happy to be around. You know, awesome musicians and friends. We're happy he's here too. <laughs> yeah, he died. We're happy he's here too. Now I can't recall the thing. It's such a wicked dream. Stardust pouring from your eyes. It's no mistake. You are perfect. You are perfect in my mind. Then you won't fade away. At that very moment in time, I was I was ready to do something. And when I was approached by Brian, it was uh, perfect. So it was perfect timing and. My headspace was in the right, you know, headspace, and uh, um, happy, happy about it. Writing my story, lasting and glad I'm so unbecoming. The stardust is making me blind, but you won't be left behind. The memory is here to Touring really hard, and so when Remember We Die, you know, kind of ran its course, and we were in the middle of a tour with uh, uh, In This Moment when Sorry came out, and you know, it just it just kind of feels like the whole year went by really quick. There wasn't a lot of um, uh, opportunity to Downtime. to like talk. Yeah, we were just we were just grinding it on the road. You know, I mean, every, every city we were at was getting its individual attention, and those. Um, between, I mean, since the album came out, we did this, we did like a two month headline run, and then we went right back out with Seven Dust, and then we did Drowning Pool, and then Star Set in this moment, and then now we're, just, now we're doing this, and it's just been a, it's been nonstop. So, it, and when we come home, we're like jumping right into uh, the, the writing and recording of the next album. So, it's just, it's just, Go, go, go. No sleep for the wicked. I mean, they're just different, they're different parts of, this, of the same coin, you know? I mean, definitely you, you get in the groove of whichever phase you're in at the time, but I mean, I think it's all, it, it all ebbs and flows, you know? When we're, 
when we're in writing mode, we just, we're completely we saturated that. in that. And then we move real gradually into uh, recording the album. And then then when that's happening, we're, the, the art is, is kind of having an upswell and then from uh, when the art's, you know, kind of reaching its point and then produ- pr- putting out the actual, like, physical album. And then, by then, we're already, like, talking about touring. And at that point, like, your next year's already booked. So, this goes pretty quick. This is my December. This is my snow-covered home. This is my December. This is me alone and I It's definitely been a steady growth over the past few years and people are still hungry for it, you know. As grueling as touring can be in some regards, I think we all kind of love it. That's why we're still doing it. Um, and the fact that the, the reaction is still so positive and energetic, you know, it makes it, it, makes it easier to kind of endure the travel and being away from home. Just to have some Touring isn't the easiest thing in the world, I would say, but uh, you gotta you gotta have a passion for it. You gotta love it, and our fans definitely make that uh, easier to do. This is my December. These are my snow-covered dreams. This is me pretending. This is all I need. I mean, we were already doing the acoustic stuff um, for a lot of radio shows, and people would always, you know, find clips of that and post it, and and we're always asking us if we were going to do an acoustic album, and it just kind of made sense to to do that, and um, we tried to just find a way to, you know, we, we've toyed with all different versions of it. Um, you know, we used to do them before the shows, now we're doing them after the shows, and we're getting the groove of kind of, of working it into just the flow of, of the entire day. I, I enjoy taking, you know, the live versions and stripping them down. We throw a piano in it. And it just gives a totally different spin on these songs. You can, you know, they're obviously, I think, recognizable as the songs that they are, but very different approach to it. And I, you know, in the past when bands have done that, you know, some are very successful with it, I think. And they do a really cool spin on it. And sometimes it's just like the band will take the song and then just play it with acoustic instruments. And I think that kind of doesn't hit the point of doing acoustics. So we've kind of put this almost jazz-like kind of cigar bar kind of vibe to it. I think that's pretty cool. Especially at the end of the night, you have this intense rock show for a couple hours and then kind of sit down and it's a lot more chill. So clear, give it all away. Just to have somewhere to go to, give it all away. To have someone to come home to, give it all away. Just to have somewhere to go to, give it all away. To have someone to come home to. We're jumping right into uh, album writing. Yep. You know, we 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 have some stuff started, but we're just gonna really just we, we're gonna November and December is just dedicated to writing and. We're gonna start. Um, we're gonna be doing the album in LA this time instead of Vegas. So we'll be, um, you know, the, the transition of from writing into pre-production into production is gonna be pretty just one solid mass, and we should be done, you know, er, early in the year to to uh, have the album out by summer. <laughs> 